Uh, 23 first round pick, a top five protected pick. Uh, if met, the pick becomes 24 uh, first round unprotected. So this is going the other way from the Senators. Additionally, should the Sens reach to the 23 Eastern Conference Final this year, the second round pick becoming the 24 first round top 10 protected. And if that condition is met, then the pick uh, goes on to 2025 first round uh, unprotected. So that's it. Yeah. yeah that's <laughs> and, and the Edmonton Oilers weren't willing to pay a price for Jacob Chikrin. If Matthias Eklund helps them. You know, there, there's no question about that. Jacob Chikrin at his age, at his salary, unbelievable that they weren't ready to pay a price like that or even more. Just pay the same price you paid to get Eklund. It's Don't. unbelievable that a team wouldn't pay the price for Chikrin. This helps the set at Ottawa Senators today, tomorrow, for the next two years. Great move by Pierre Dorian. That's, that's the where they needed to help. And that's the thing I like about it for the Ottawa Senators. The team this season, especially in the second half, has shown Pierre Dorian they mean business. Look at Brady Kachuk last game saying, who wants it? Come get it. You know who wants it? That guy does. And so now you add a player, and it doesn't hurt you in the short term. It's not a rental. It's a guy who's going to be there. Think about the age demographic as well. He's going to grow with this young core that I'm really excited about Stutzla, Norris, Batherson, De like the list goes on here. I love this move for the Ottawa Senators. Keep naming all the forwards. If they didn't improve the defense, all those great forwards weren't going to help them doesn't win. matter. Bottom, hey, bottom line, it doesn't. I just want to repeat what the Senators gave up to get Jacob Chikrin from Arizona. Conditional first round pick this year in 23. Conditional second, second round selection in 24. Previously acquired from the Capitals and a second round pick in 26. <laughs> So you, That's a big miss by the Edmonton Oilers. Well, how about this? Big miss. Better. Craig, how about this? Big miss. Right? So the Edmonton Oilers bring in Matthias Heckholm, right? He's a good defenseman, for sure. One defenseman does not make your team harder to play against. It's a good piece. But now, they're still easy to play against. They will turn the puck over, and shortly afterwards, it's in the back of the net. There's not enough resistance there. So as a team, yeah, you bring in Matthias Heckholm, he's going to help. But there needs to be something there that makes your team harder to play against. Yeah, I, I think Matthias Ekholm was a nice addition. Don't yeah, get me yeah, wrong for here, sure. okay? And, and, and I know they traded Tyson Berry, who's really helped the power play. Jacob Chickren's a better player than Matthias Ekholm. His contract is better. He's younger. So you see Reed Schaefer, a first-round draft pick, go to the Nashville Predators for that contract, that age of player. You're talking about age demographics? I'm telling you, it's a miss by the Edmonton Oilers. So there you go. Take <laughs> take the, another number one off the trade bait board uh, for TSN and Jacob Chikrin uh, moving. And should it be a trade center day or a week or maybe what? a month the way well, this is going? I, I, I just want to say our new insider, Rod Smith, breaking <laughs> yeah, the latest trail out of the nation's <laughs> capital. Thank you for getting notes from Frankie's <laughs> phone as well while talking to Pierre Lebrun. This, this week has been nuts, and it's not over yet.